What's happening, peeps? Seal Boy Henny Wrestling. A grown man who loves God and wrestling. Man, I gotta devote my life to Christ more often. I'm not doing a good job so far. <laughs> back it again with another video. Back it again with another episode. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to um, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So every video that I post, you'll be the first ones to know. And also, it's gonna be on my podcast. So if you have Anchor, Apple, I think Spotify as well. Um, just search Henny Wrestling. You see the logo there, and um, and you can listen and you can listen to every episode I put up on my podcast. Invictus Pro Wrestling. Oh, I got my laptop on the side. Invictus Pro Wrestling. Winter's Wrath. Somebody get Wade Barrett on the phone, cause <laughs> I'm afraid I got some bad news. A snow, a snowstorm is gonna come to the um, to the northeast region come Saturday, and Saturday is Invictus Pro Wrestling Winter's Wrath, and this sucks because I'm part of I'm part of the the sponsors for the for the show, along with my along with my boy um the Figure King, the Figure King I think Figure King Figure Kings. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to follow him on Instagram. But, um, this sucks, man. This sucks. Because I don't know how bad the snow is, is going to be. I already, I already, I already said, I already told myself that I'm not going to go in the morning and meet, um, Roxy. If I have a chance, I'll do it in, um, a big event in March. But if not, it is what it is. Um... Now this sucks, man, because I only, I only have gone two shows so far in January, and that is AEW Dynamite in New Jersey, um, which it gave me a little turn off because of the situation with Big Swole and, and Tony Khan. And um, HOG, the old women's tournament to determine the new um, HOG women's champion. Um, I was supposed to go to Warriors of Wrestling, but my one of my boys decided not to go, so I didn't win. And then BCW was supposed to have a show last week, last Friday, but because of all these cases going up, um, they decided to wait until um, March. So if this is the case where the snow is going to be that bad, then... <laughs> what a way to start for me in 2022. I'm only gonna, I'm only gonna make, only gonna, we only went to two shows if that's the case. But hopefully, hopefully that does not happen. Hopefully, um, I'm able to go and enjoy and enjoy wrestling like everyone else. I'm um, coming tonight to Columbus. So with that being said, um, let's go with the matches. Now there was so many, so the match, so there were some matches that was set. But there were certain things that was out of their con out of their control, and they had to find replacements. Um, so let's get to it. The Invictus Pro Wrestling Women's Championship title on the line. Vicious Vicky versus Edith Edith Surreal. Hopefully I said hopefully I said the person's name right. Um, it was supposed to be Vicky versus um, Kaya McKenna. I hope I said her name right. But um, Kaya McKenna, I think she suffered a shoulder injury. I think it was a shoulder injury. It was a shoulder injury or knee injury. One of them two. One of those two injuries she suffered. And she and now she's out for six months. So it was supposed to be Vicky versus Kaya. And that was the match I wanted to sponsor at first. Because I love both of them. And they both follow me on Instagram, you know. And it had me looking like Paul Heyman when he, when he threw the Universal title at Crown Jewels, because he didn't know if he wants to give it to Lesnar, he wanted to give it to Roman Reigns, he just threw it in the middle, be like, I don't know what to do, and I felt the same way with, um, when they first announced the match between Vicious Vicky and Kaya McKenna, but unfortunately, Kaya McKenna is out for a month, for, I think, I think it was six months, so, you know, um, Surreal, um, Edith Surreal is, um, her replacement, um, I expect this match to be a very tough one. Um, Vicious Vicky's coming off of a huge win at Warriors of Wrestling. I think she, uh, she won a title there. So, Vicious Belt Collector. She already got five. So, this match is going to be tough. Um, 
this, this match is going to be tough. Um, Vicious Vicky's ha uh, Vicious Vicky is ha has some momentum going on, and I think this is going to favor her to win and retain the Invictus Pro Wrestling Women's Title. So I got Vicious Vicky winning this match against um, Edis Surreal. Hopefully, hopefully I said the hopefully I said the name right. Um, the match will go either way, but I got Vicious Vicky retained, and hopefully. Hopefully during the summer we'll see um Vicky versus uh Kaya McKenna come July, August, or in the fall. So let's see what happens. Let's see what's the plan for Invictus Pro Wrestling, although they have two two shows after this. But we'll have to wait and see come late spring, early summer for uh, McKenna because she she earned the number one contender spot I think at overdrive so let's see what happens but vicious Vicky have to go has to go through surreal if not then we'll probably see surreal versus McKenna but I got vicious Vicky winning this match and retaining the gold so we have the semi-finals I believe to to determine the first ever Invictus Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions so we have milk chocolate versus American murdered Society. I think I saw American Murder Society at We All Wrestling when they came out and faced um, Prolific. I think that's that. Pete, correct me if I'm wrong on this. Um, man. Ooh. American Murder Society, they're no joke. I've I seen them wrestle. They're no joke. They are really no joke. They can go. Uh, Milk Chocolate, they, they come off of a win against, I think it was the Outfielder. At the pre at the overdrive pre show, um, they could sing Pretty Boy Smooth because Pretty Boy Smooth um, gave Milk Chocolate the hand, and I think I think the result is going to be the same. I don't know I don't know what's um, Milk Chocolate's um, occupation, but they they're giving him up. They're giving milk, they're giving Pretty Boy Smooth excuse me a lot of money to <laughs> to, for, to for them to get the W. So I think so I, I got Milk Chocolate win. Uh, if American Murder Society wins, then hey, it could go either way. But I, I feel Milk Chocolate is gonna find a way to win and enter to the um, finals to get the gold for Invictus Pro Wrestling Tag Team Division. We have the other um, semifinals in a tag team title tournament. We have Mucho Trouble against Meat Locker. Hey, yo, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. All right, so um. Woo! This is gonna be a tough one. I feel like they these guys know each other so well, and I expect this match to be to be a tremendous one. Like these guys know each other very well. They have wrestled each other in other promotions and stuff like that. So I expect this match to be an enjoyable match. I believe Mucho Trouble. Um, I give Mucho Trouble slight edge to win against the Meat Locker. Now, um, Wrecking Ball and his partner could win this match. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, they don't have a chance. They have a chance. But I just feel like Ben Bishop and um, this guy who always say, get this mucho, I think, they, I think they're going to find a way to win this match. And that's why I'm going to give them a slight, just a slight win over uh, Meat Locker to advance to the finals to determine the first ever um, Invictus Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions or to crown the new Tag Team Champions. Either way. But I think Mucho, Mucho Trouble um, will get the dub. The unsanctioned match. Take over versus Sin. If you guys haven't seen the three-on-three -three match pre-show Invictus Pro Wrestling Overdrive, go watch it on YouTube right now. Right um, right Invictus Pro Wrestling um, go to their YouTube channel and watch that match if you think was it no it was a tag team match excuse me if you think that match that happened in November was crazy I think we have another thing coming because in November these guys killed these guys were just ready to kill each ready to kill each other. Like, I don't I don't know how in the world that ended up in a pre-show. That was like a main car match right there. Like legit, 
that was a main card match. These guys, they really want to kill each other, man. And it's an unsanctioned match. They really, really, really going to kill each other, man. So, if I, so us fans, we got to be careful, man. I'm just, <laughs> I got to get out the way because, you know, with this Jay Bougie, I think he's faceless and his guys. And PJ Savage, oh, I can only imagine the rampage, the reckoning that's going to happen this Saturday. Oh God, I can't pick this. I can't pick a winner here, man. I don't know who is going. I don't know who is going over. I really don't. This is really tough. This is really tough. Like whoever wins this, whoo. I don't think it's, man, I don't think these guys going I don't think these guys bodies and lives will be the same after this match cuz they're going to try to kill each other. They are going to try to kill each other, man. I will say whoever capitalizes at the right time will win this match. Because I don't know who's I don't know who's gonna win this. I don't know. I love Jay Bougie. I love PJ Savage. They're both my guys, man. But man, this is gonna be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. Woo! Oh man. I love you, PJ, but mm, my god. I'm gonna have to go with takeover. But this is a toss-up. Whoever is in the right place at the right time, that's going to win the match. I already, I already picked TakeOver, so it doesn't really matter. But like I said, whoever is at the right place at the right time in this match is going to be the winner. Because this is a tough one to really, to really call, man. I don't know. I don't know if these six guys gonna 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 come out alive, come win some ref, because this match is gonna be crazy. But let's see what happens. All I'm saying, those who are going to Invictus Pro Wrestling show this Saturday, get out of the way, because these guys are gonna kill each other. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Man, someone is going to the upper room. Like it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> So right. we have an unsanctioned match, but now we got a street fight. Two ladies going at it. So we got Ziggy versus um, Little Me. Um, I really don't know too much about them, respectfully. Like guys, I wish I know everyone. Like, bro, like I, I wish I wish I know them in the palm of my hand. But it's a street fight, and they're gonna try to kill each other too. Ooh. I'm going to go with Little Me. Slight edge. Slight edge. It won't surprise me if Ziggy wins because it's a street fight. It could go either way. But I'm going to go with Little Me on this one. Let's see what happens this Saturday in the street fight. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. But I got Little Me on this one. Killian McMurphy versus Allie Catch. Shout out to Allie Catch. Um, she was at Hammerstein Ballroom last Sunday. as She had a match with Ruby Soho. Um... I got I to gotta, I gotta see Hammerstein Bowl. I saw some of the matches, but I didn't see all of them. But Ali Catch is going to have... She, she's going to have a heck of a two weeks. Not only did she wrestle at Hammerstein Ballroom, but she's also going to come to um, Knights of Columbus. And I can't wait to see her um, in action. Um, Man, I don't know how, I don't know how this is going to play out. I'm going to play favoritism on this one. But I know my boy... Um, M Moises, M we call him Motu. So me and him, I think I, 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 he would agree with me. I'm gonna go with Ali on this one. It won't surprise look. It won't surprise me if Killian does win. It could go either way, but I'm gonna go with Ali on this one. I'm sorry, guys. Don't come after me this Saturday. <laughs> uh, but I got Ali on this one. All right. Now this is the match that um me and my boy the Figure Kings decided to sponsor. Gio Galvano versus Ken Broadway, round two. Now, I do believe Ken Broadway did win the first match against um, Gio Galvano. I think it was early, 
2021 that they faced each other at Invictus Pro Wrestling is either early or it was September. One of them, one of them, one of them two times. So this second match um, may um, actually happen because at Overdrive, Ken Broadway faced um, Trisha Dora. And right when Ken Broadway um, was about to finish her, Gio Galvano's song um, starts to play. Now, we all thought at that time he was coming out, but it was only his music. And by the way, the Figure Kings, um, if you if you have seen if you seen my vlog video at uh, Overdrive, this dude chopped the crap out of Ken Broadway, man. <laughs> The guy that is gonna collab sponsor me, he chopped the crap out of Ken Broadway. <laughs> oh man, but um, now I'm gonna give this to Ken Broadway, but if they're gonna make this a trilogy, I think Gil Govano will win this match. If this, if this will go to trilogy, but if not, by a slight edge, I'm gonna give it to um. Ken Broadway, because I think Ken Broadway want to come out and, well, they're both going to come out and beat the crap out of each other. So, this is a, this is a toss-up. If this, if this is going to go towards a trilogy, then I got Jill Galvano. But if not, then I got Ken Broadway. Let's see what happens this Saturday come Winter's Wrath. The social media championship on the line. Robert... Martyr, hopefully I said his last name right. Um, challenging big game Leroy. Now it was supposed to be Alec Price, but I don't know what happened. Um, it was out of it was out of Invictus Pro Wrestling control. So we got Robert Martyr replacing and facing Big Game Leroy. Big Game Leroy, I got love for you. I love you, bro. I love you. I got love for you. But, bro, you got to level up, I don't know, I can't even, can't even double, I'll probably go 10 times. This man, Robert, I know you've seen him. This man does not play. <laughs> he does not play. I seen this man against Gil Galvano in, a G, in one of the GSW tapings of High Voltage. This man put Gio to sleep. Like, my man put him to sleep. And take away the title. I think it's GSW next gen title. Like, dude put Gio Galvano to sleep. Like, this man went through Austin Aries. Went through Yo-Yo. A night one, night two. Of, of GSW. Robert's no joke. And he, I think he faced Jacob Fatu in night one. Um, one of my friend, one of my friends told me that he, it reminds him of um, Zach Xavier Jr. I think Zach Xavier Jr. from New Japan. I think he got that same vibes. This is gonna be one of the toughest matches in big in big game Leroy's career. I, I believe so. Okay, he faced Dan Housing. The triple threat match he had at Overdrive. That was a tough one because when you're a champion and you're in a triple threat match, you don't need to be involved in a penalty submission to lose your title. Like, whoever gains in a triple threat match, whoever gains pinfall submission wins the match. So the champion, it to the champion, doesn't need to be involved. Um, this is gonna be this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I want to give it to Robert. I want I I cause I don't know man. I don't know. But I'm gonna give it to Big Game Leroy by a slight. By a slight. I love Big Game Leroy. I love him. I love him. But it's going to be a tough, tough, tough fight. This is a toss-up. I'm gonna give a slight edge to Big Game Leroy. If Robert Martin wins, hats off to him. I don't think nobody should 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 Jaw, should drop their jaw unless you don't know or unless you really haven't seen him wrestle. But 
but if you have, don't be like, I can't believe, no, this man is legit. I'm concerned about Big Game Leroy losing his belt. But um, Leroy is, is up for the challenge, so um, I'm going to give a slight edge to Big Game Leroy. Now, if Robert wins, won't surprise me, but I'm going to give a slight edge to Big Game Leroy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your main event, I think that's the main event, your main event, sponsored by Dirty Heels. Shout out to Dirty Heels. My prince and condolences go to Kofi Weaston. Um, losing a family member sucks. And you know, as wrestling, as wrestling, as wrestling content creators and as wrestling fans, um, if we have a chance this Saturday, um, we should come together and show love and support to this guy. It sucks losing a family member. Trust and believe, it sucks losing a family member. Um, you know, when you lose someone so close, um. I'm pretty sure it sucks. Um, I lost my grandmother. Um, not to talk about, not to talk about any of this, but I just, I lost my grandmother in 20, like five years. I lost my grandmother. No, seven years ago, I lost my grandmother. You know, the year just started and I just lost my grandmother, you know? So I know what it's like. I know what it's like to feel that pain that he loves someone dearly. And the year just got started and you lose them. It sucks. So, guys, let's, guys, if we're able to go um, January 29th to um, Victor's Pro Wrestling Winter's Wrath, because the snow is ridiculous. If we're able to go, let's show love and support to um, Kofi Wheatston and show that, like, yo, know, like the love is there, the support is there. So, send your, 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 you know, send your condolences and keep them in prayer because, you know, losing a family is really a little rough. But um, Casey Navarro versus Alex Zane. I think that's the main event of the show. Woo! Casey Navarro said this since last year. He wants the best. The absolute best. Bring him all the smoke. I seen him wrestle... In December at um, We Are Wrestling, it was a fatal four-way. I was pretty concerned because of the fact that he hurt his knee back in October in Battle Club Pro. But um, looks like he's doing perfectly fine. He's a ML, he's a major league wrestling um, superstar. So hopefully down the road he does win the MLW middleweight title. But he has to focus on this Saturday against Alex Zane. I wanted to sponsor this match because I saw it and I was like, oh my god. But nah, 30 heels already took it. I'm trying to take my spotlight. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but um, nah, this should be a, a tremendous match. This match should be. Whoo! Caliente! Like, oh my god. I don't know who's gonna win this match. I don't know who's gonna win. I don't know. This is tough. This is tough. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta want, you got. One wrestler that is hungry and wants to prove to the world that he is one of the best in the world. And you have another guy that everybody, everybody knows him. I'm just disappointed why WWE released him, man. I thought he was gonna, I thought he was gonna be the one of the guys in NXT, one of the guys in 205 Live. Make me feel some type of way. Anyways, but I think I'm gonna give this to Alex Zane. I love you, Casey. I, I, I'm gonna I'm I'm be I'm gonna be supporting you guys. I'm gonna be shouting both these guys. Same thing with um with Takeover and Sin. I'm gonna I'm gonna be shouting both these teams. But I'm gonna give a slight edge to Alex Zane. If Casey wins, hey, it won't surprise me. But I'm gonna give a slight edge to um Alex Zane on this one. So those are my picks. You guys comment down below. Let me know your picks for this Saturday. And make sure you follow Invictus Pro Wrestling. Make sure you follow them on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their channel. I'll put the link in the description below in case you guys want to subscribe to, in case you guys want to subscribe to, to their YouTube channel. And with that being said, guys, let's just hope that the snow is not that bad. You can go and enjoy what all of us all of us do, and that is um, professional wrestling. 
Unfortunately, it, it, it falls on the same night as Royal Rumble, but in case Royal Rumble becomes, in case the Royal Rumble gives me a high blood pressure, well, not high blood pressure, but uh, <laughs> in case Royal Rumble gets disappointed in me, or I'm like, the more things change, the more it stays the same. At least Invictus Pro Wrestling gives me a heck of a show. <laughs> With that being said, guys, God bless. Keep God first. And remember, live, learn, and adapt. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit hit the notification bell. And if you're watching this on my podcast, I mean if you're hearing this on my podcast, what's wrong with me? If you're hearing this on my podcast, make sure you make sure you subscribe or however you um you um enter and things of that nature so with that being said guys god bless enjoy the rest of the week and hopefully the snow doesn't stop me to see all of you guys come january 29th at invictus pro wrestling winter's wrath any wrestling